This is my aquarium. Fifty five gallons. I got all types of fish in here. I'm gonna try to give you a walk through what I got. I'll start from the big ones first, then we'll work our way down. This here is my purple rose cichlid. He's also part of the cichlid family. He is the most aggressive fish in my tank. Uh, he's pretty big. I don't know if you can tell, but he is huge. And next to him, they seem to get along perfectly well. My green terror. Uh, they're always together. Once in a while, they have disagreements, and you see them go back and forth, but... They get along pretty good and they're pretty entertaining. They swim around the tank. And here is my red Oscar. Let's see if I can get him to uh, come forward. That's my red Oscar. He is the most funnest, funniest fish to have. Or the fun fish. Especially when it comes to feeding time. I drop one of those uh, feeding fish in there. Especially the... Uh, what do you call those uh, golden fish? He will, he will chase them around all 55 gallons until he eats them. And he doesn't just bite them. He swallows them all up. These are my garamis. My golden garamis. I have two of those. And then I got three alpine garamis. They're very calm fish. They don't bother nobody. Nobody bothers them. They tend to keep to themselves and they're always swimming around the top most of the time. And these here are my blue cichlids. Very aggressive. They used to be bullies, but they can't bully nobody anymore for obvious reasons. When they were in the tank without the big fish, they love bullying. You see, I got three of those. They're blue cichlids. They're called the shorter cichlids. I, I tap the glass like this. They come because they think they're going to get fed. And that right there is my golden cichlid. My yellow cichlid, sorry. Very fun to have. When he gets to swimming, he would do laps around the fish tank uh, constantly. Just going back and forth. I mean, he'll, dry, he'll get you dizzy. I have a very active fish tank. I don't like boring fish. Let's see what else I got over here. This is my red jewels. I love this fish as well. I love the colors. It's pretty aggressive, but not too much. He doesn't bother nobody if nobody bothers him. But he is exciting. These are my two Bella sharks. I call them Angel and Dario. They keep to themselves. Don't bother nobody. Nobody bothers them. But they know how to stick up for themselves. These are my tiger bars. I got five of those little guys right there. I don't know if you can see him. You see? Five of those. Now this guy just tries to stop stealing the show. These are feeding fish. They're only alive because my other fish are full. And I have a festum somewhere around here. He's hiding. He likes to come there, he goes. See if you can see him here. He's pretty big. That is my Festum Cichlid. When I first got him, everybody in the pet store told me that he is super aggressive, that he is super dominant, but he is a very calm fish. Nobody has ever bothered him, and he doesn't bother nobody. He likes to just chill. He's the chill fish. I call him Josue. And that is my 55 gallon. There goes my rose, purple rose. Oh, I forgot my rainbow. Look at my rainbow fish there. He tends to go down there. I build him a little cave. And here comes Big Papa trying to steal the show. But these are my fish tanks. This is my therapy. This is where I come to forget about the stressful days. Just look at my fish. Maybe I'll make a video next time of uh, feeding them. So you can see the excitement on that. 
I got five of these little bad boys. I brought them because I just wanted to watch them get eaten. But believe it or not, I guess the other fish like them. Nobody eats them. I used to like them because they're school fishes and they swim together. Uh, but they don't do it all the time anymore. This volcano is very good. Uh, I don't recommend, I recommend it highly. I brought it because my fish needed oxygen. They were all swimming at the top of the tank. When I got this volcano, it, I brought it with, uh, I don't know if you ever see with that kind of a pump. And uh, it does wonders. It looks great when I shut off the light. It looks phenomenal. And it comes when I, that pump that I brought, also pumps enough air where it has two external air pumps well what it does basically it pumps air out of two holes so you I'm able to feed my wall with oxygen and also this so it's great let's see if we can catch a fight fight fight, fight. nope no fighting today Oh, these are my alb albinos. I don't know if you can see the albinos. They just chill all day. I've got a couple of those guys in there. They basically chill. A lot of people think that the mixture of fishes that I have, it's not good because they'll fight and kill each other all the time. But it's rare when any of my fishes uh, die. You know, they, they get along great. They once in a while have disagreements, but it lasts seconds, and then you see them each go their own way. Like you know, just like marriage, you know, we have disagreements too, and then, you know, everything is fine after a couple of minutes, at least for the most part. Now, this right here, I don't know if you could see it, an albino has dominated that train, and that's his home. He hides under there. And then he comes out when he wants to eat, goes back in. That's his little spot. That's my purple rose. That's his chilling spot. Everybody has a place. There goes my festive. He decided to come out. There he goes. See? Well, I don't want to bore you anymore. These are uh, Amazon sword plants. They're great. I love how they stay green. That tree right there used to have more flowers, but this green terror tends to feed off them. So, you know, but it, it is a great tree. It's a real tree, and uh, it just looks nice. I like it. These plants, my mom gave them to me. I don't know what they're called, but uh, I put them in there, and they seem to be doing good. They're not as green as my other plants but they're good well that's it and then look my sucker fish he decided to go inside there with him clean the inside of the castle well that's my aquarium hope you enjoyed it i'll try to get a full shot and let's see let's see let's see that is my aquarium